Hey everyone, it's our favorite pastry, and welcome back to my playthrough of Lies of Pete. Last time, we did some exploring, found some new records, and cried a bunch. This time, we're progressing the main story, and probably crying a bunch more. I have a feeling we're going to be coming across Geppetto soon. I won't be crying if he dies. Just saying. He gives off big bad evil guy vibes. Especially since it seems like he used the puppets. For his own personal gain. Oh man. That was a clever little ambush. Had a very obvious guy to backstab. And then bam! Rape your guy. Right on your side. That was a little scary. Flamethrower dude got me with his flames. More carcass heads. Oh! That's how you switch Legion Arms. Huh. And to think, that enemy gave me so much trouble way back in the Grand Exhibition. Ooh, more quartz. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, because I maxed out my level. As you can see, I can now switch between two legion arms. Risky. Did I seriously just burn that guy alive? I think I just burned that guy alive. Old ragdolls never change. Oh yeah. I'm referring to that corpse that's having a fun time with the railing right above my head. Okay, I am going to turn down the volume a little bit for the music. Because it is kind of loud. We run and we explode. I have a feeling I'm going to be going down into this bed at some point in time. And facing the big bad evil guy of the game.
Ah. Weapon durability is becoming more and more of a thing the later further I go into this game. I feel like there should have been something here. game is still showering me in upgrade materials. I kinda like it. I feel like the game is suddenly telling me that it wants me to play around with weapons. It doesn't want me to just stick with one weapon. And be done with it. Still alive somehow. I knew as soon as I swung, I was gonna fall. But I still swung anyway. Cat dust. I wonder if the game wants me to sneak by a few enemies. Don't think you can sneak by this guy. That chocolate it is incredibly good. Oh, a lift. Wonder where it goes. We'll go to it later. Or maybe not. I totally thought this would be an enemy. Ciao, Bello. I had a feeling you were no ordinary kid, but I never expected to meet you here. It's a trivial matter. Everything is trivial in this part of the business. Reward or no reward. The reason for kidnapping someone, or for blocking your path here. But if some audacious behavior helps my brother see again, that's a different story. In all honesty, I don't want to fight. Not you, at any rate. For one, it's a damned hassle. And why should I go out of my way to satisfy an employer who didn't pay me enough? It's not too late. We don't have to fight. Just show me some kindness, and I might change my mind. Thank you. This much? It might even cure him entirely. It's not fair, the way I've been harassing you. You're the only one who's ever been kind to us. I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Go on then. Go to him. Geppetto's waiting. I never even... If only we had been friends from the start. Hurry. I completely skipped over the dialogue thinking it was more of the same. Is this where I get to see Geppetto again? Unfortunately.
It is. Oh good, another thing you need urgent repair tool. I kinda of burnt through all of them. I have a feeling this is the way. It saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. This will be the last time I ask. I promise. Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully, for my sake. Was I a trustworthy father to you? I see. I didn't do enough to earn your trust. I wasn't a very good father to you. I gave you more loneliness than love. That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still plenty of time. Once all this is over, we can become a real family. I promise. I will give it back to you. The happy family we once were. Put an end to it all, son. I don't think Carlo had a happy family to begin with. So it looks like the stairs were the way to go. Capital T, capital G W. But thankfully. There's a stargazer here. And a sharper. Right. So let's go see where that elevator goes. Because I told him the truth, I feel like I screwed something up with the quest store or the main story. Or maybe not. I don't know. It seems a little like Mass Effect. If you start lying, you need to lie all the time. And if you tell the truth, you need to always tell the truth. Ah, it does go down. Oh, right here. Oh, that was a shortcut. I guess if I faced Red Fox. Now, let's continue on. Of course you do something like this game. Assassin's Amulet. There it is. Reminds me of the Dark Brotherhood from Elder Scrolls for some reason. 
They believed the reputation they earned from working behind the scenes in the underworld would be eternal, however famous useless before the gallops. Not sure who they're referring to. Maybe they're talking about Red Fox and Black Cat, because they're kind of shadowy figures. Nope, she's still giving me trouble. But a couple charge attacks should do the trick. Pretty to be precise. Because she has no points. What am I hearing? Is it that magical device at the top? Oh boy. That was most unexpected. I'm glad this game really knows how to play around with ambushes. In Elden Ring, especially with the side dungeons, it felt like everywhere was an ambush. I know your tricks now, old man. Leaping amulet. Plus one. Okay, increases the max stamina. I'm gonna keep the arena of favor and protection on for now. Like I was saying, in Elden Ring, it felt like every other dungeon had uh, an ambush right, right around the corner. So it got kind of tedious exploring everywhere. Ah, shortcut unlocked. Sorry for bumping the mic. Did you feel that? It's like someone walked across my grave. I sense air go everywhere. I mean, this place is saturated with it. Like what you'd expect from a mountain of dead puppets. There's a shiny there. Do I get it now or do I get it later? I'm gonna get it later. Because I feel like we're almost done with this game. So I am getting tired of recording. Oh, 
Oh, that did no damage. Oh. That was a grab attack. This guy is kicking my butt. Is this enough? Yeah, that's enough. <clears throat> I'm hoping he's a mini boss. And that was that. Ooh. Controller drift almost got me there. Oh yeah, one of the reasons I started the series. Is that because a lot of you, I'm also very heavily introverted and I'm pretty quiet. And I wanted to use this series as an opportunity to learn how to express my thoughts a little bit better. I think it's kind of helping. Oh man, this Resident Evil level just keeps on going. I'm up in a little bit. There we go. Another balance crank. Useless from a build. I keep on forgetting that when you recharge your Ergo Flask, it makes a chime. And it always startles me. So said Restress the Third. A hand rising up into the heavens. This must be the arm of God that they're referring to. There it is. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I first shall tell you about the about true eternal life. An angel's gift was something humans dare not enjoy. Many humans died with hope in their hearts, and the ones who lived harbored rage instead of death. Eventually, humans destroyed and burned their hope on their own. That is how the angel became the god torn to death. God torn to death. Excuse me. But today, there are definitely those who survived with the blessing. They, the mortal ones, still walk around and wish for the resurrection of God. I clearly told the truth I witnessed. Now you shall all follow this path. Item. Shiny. I wonder if Simon is related to this fellow. And he's trying to become the arm of God. Just kidding, I kinda know he's trying to become the arm of God. Well, that looks like the final boss area. 
Simon minus his confession. Do, do, do. Ah, there, there it is. A father is God to his, is like God to his son. Even I, Simon, was no different in my youth. But the one who created me was no normal, no normal human, and my abilities were extraordinary. You're a failure too. The ability to read minds, being abandoned in front of God, meant the world's destruction. From then on, my life existed to make a world without lies. A world where no one betrays you and there's only truth, even if it's forced. Now the finale is here. Open the door. Once the door is open, it can't be closed. For humankind, I, Simon, gave up being human and decided to walk the path of immortality and the truth. My body will be broken and reformed as the god that was torn apart. I leave this record in my last moments as a human. Simon Prestis is just madness. He is related. Okay, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Tricky. Ah, let's go with more fire damage. And then let's return to this. Because there's that shiny there, and I need to get that shiny. Ow. It was a star fragment. Absolutely worthless. Yeah, this is definitely a, f a final boss. We'll call it a day then. Or an episode, I should say. As always, thank you for joining me on my playthrough to Lies of Keep. And as always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together. <laughs>